Hey, what's going on, y'all? Jay from JS Films. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at Facegood's new facial animation solution called Fogo. Okay, so here he goes. A little demo. There's Jello. She said, hey, JS Films messaged you. He's like, I don't care. All right, so he grabs another camera, plugs it in a laptop. Now, what's cool about this is I like it when I see laptops like that because that means I can go somewhere like in a warehouse and shoot a movie. I'm never going to carry my big computer ever again. That was a mistake I made once by myself. Not going to happen. So it's nice to know that this is going to run on a laptop. So here's the software. Now, this is nothing new. He's been working on this for a while. If you're familiar with Avatari, you know that there's a 2D and a 3D solve. I'm pretty sure this is the 3D solve that that's going to be in there. This is real time, not pre-recorded. And I like how he did it because People have trust issues like the GDC meta human animator that got a lot of people questioning the integrity of that that demo but this is live you know you have he's performing on the left and projector on the right which is cool this really reminds me of 4d animation the same facial animation they use in the matrix demo and unity enemies now that 4d animation is very expensive we're talking hundreds of thousands of dollars. And I think there are only two companies, correct me if I'm wrong, that actually provide the services for 4D animation. And, and again, what's exciting about it is this technology will eventually be in our household. This regular household camera or something like that. And you have this kind of facial animation. And as you can see, it's not only translating your face. It's not just guessing what your face looks like. It's actually copying kind of like a clay like somebody is making a cast out of your head with clay and it's actually animating that clay that's why it's crazy good because not everybody talks the same you know there there's some things that we do when we talk that kind of is unique and this potentially can capture all that all the small nuisances And see right there, he's like talking sideways like this, and it's catching it. Yeah, try that with an iPhone Live Link. You ain't even that chewing motion would be hard. Really cool. Okay, so I had Jello record a small video, like no preparation whatsoever. I just told him, hey, go record real quick. So he recorded his vid, and you can see it a little bit clearer on how that's capturing. And you can see that this is his face. Because that camera he's using is 3D. Look at that. That is his face. Alright, so he's going to stop. Boom. And if you look at these curves right here. I don't want my monthly summary. Those look pretty clean. I mean, that's pre-filter too. You don't see a lot of spikes, a lot of jankiness. So you can even improve this solve right here. To think that one day this might go real time. I mean, when I say one day, I mean like two to five years, this technology is going to be real time. Man, what? Ugh, crazy. Crazy stuff. Really exciting stuff, man. And it's also tracking the neck rotation. The Avatar D2 doesn't do that right now. You kind of need a body mocap, but this is actually tracking his head. So you can see the blend shapes right here. I really hope he can make this work with the meta humans, man. Because I want to compare it to the actual um, meta human animator to see which one's better. crazy all right so let me go ahead and go back to this page because before this uh, this said released alpha testing um and it confused a lot of people it's not released yet they just announced it so i was like hey dude you might want to change that to announce because when you say release that means it's ready for us to buy so it's just announced this technology um this is going to work with an iphone because as you all know that front camera 
it includes a sensor in front of it so it's going to work that's going to act kind of like a 3d camera almost so that's very good news so you don't have to buy the actual camera he has here which i know he's going to be selling i don't know how much yet but yeah man this is just another tool in our arsenal that we can use pretty exciting stuff ahead of us that being said let me know what y'all think see y'all in the next one peace out